It is an honor to be given the valedictory address this year. We seem to be constantly living through the future. So many people are consumed with the outcome and never the journey. Even as we sit here today, a number of us are thinking about attending college in the fall instead of living in the present. We think we are going to live forever, all of us invincible, and because of this illusion of immortality, we forget to just take a breath and take in everything around us. We are a generation conditioned to think ahead, think forward, but never think now. But what's so wrong with now? In this very moment, every person is united, connected to this idea of graduation. The idea that accomplishments should be celebrated, that pausing to reflect on our experiences is invaluable. The idea that the path we make depends on the now, each step, each now. Yes, we may be wearing silly robes that cover up the outfits that we spent countless hours trying to find, but pausing to reflect on our experiences is necessary. So put that cell phone down, person in row two, and be present. <laughs> I see you. Let's acknowledge, <laughs> let's acknowledge that very moment before we take a step down that new road. There is wisdom in stopping, regardless of what we have been conditioned to believe. That moment between past and future, that's what second, that's the moment that counts the most. And we're living it right now. According to the beloved John Green, there is an almost infinite future stretching out before us but we ourselves are finite. No one can escape this inevitable truth. You get one chance. Cry, scream, laugh, feel. I do all of these often in the same few minutes. But there is one thing that can help us through the hardships. Art. As stated in the musical Passing Strange, only art can correct the mistake known as life. In other words, 